Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is skin redness. But before starting, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel. And if you need more information about any disease, any medical condition or any medication, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and the link is just below this video in the description area, you know. And once you click the link, it will lead you to the website. Now I come to the topic. Uh, uh, that's the skin redness, you know, you know, for multiple reasons, maybe from sunburn to, uh, which is a minor thing to a serious condition known as allergic reaction, you know. And uh, there are many situations in which your skin can become red or uh, maybe irritated, you know. And uh, it may be because uh, extra blood rushes to the skin surface to fight of the irritants and uh, encourage the healing you know and uh, your skin can also become red from exertion like uh, after the heart pounding exercises you know and it's not always cause of uh, concern but skin redness can be irritating and uh, uncomfortable you know and it can also be com accompanied by other symptoms and figuring out its underlying cause can help uh, in the treatment and uh, you know so it's important uh, that uh, you consult your doctor if you are concerned and to evaluate the underlying condition you know that seems what are the symptoms of skin redness well the main symptom associated with the skin redness is uh, varying colors of the redness on the skin and the redness can occur in uh, varying degrees and uh, the different portions of the body you know? and uh, the some examples are like uh, blistering or bumps or bruising or flushing or burning or hives or maybe rash you know maybe swelling maybe sores you know and maybe warmth in the skin you know? And uh, the next thing, what are the causes of uh, skin redness? Well, the causes of the skin redness are very, uh, like, uh, and can include like irritants, maybe the sun exposure, maybe insect boils, maybe allergic reactions, you know. And uh, the skin condition associated with the skin redness may include like uh, uh, atopic dermatitis, bites, cellulitis, uh, contact dermatitis, heat rashes, eczema. Scarlet fever, ringworm, shingles, skin infection, sunburns, and a huge list of conditions, you know. And uh, it can be temporary or it may be acute condition, you know. And it can also be the chronic condition that uh, constantly reappears, you know. And uh, you should get immediate medical attention if you experience any of the symptoms like. Uh, a burn that is uh, twice the size of your palm, you know. Difficulty in breathing, extreme pain, loss of consciousness, and redness uh, near your eyes. And if it's uh, affecting your vision, you know, in that case, you should not uh, uh, ignore them, you know, and uh, uh, immediate medical attention is needed, you know, and should call the ambulance, you know. Now, the next thing is, uh, uh, how do doctors diagnose the reason why uh, you're having this uh, skin redness, you know? You know, your doctor will examine your skin redness. They will ask you the questions about your symptoms. Do they come and go occasionally? How often it happens? Any kind of triggers or any weather that makes it worse, you know? And uh, any activities which are associated with those rednesses, any medications, any family history of these conditions, you know. And uh, uh, then he will perform the physical examination. He will view uh, those uh, rednesses, you know. And he will find, uh, try to find any clue, you know. And... Uh, these questions and the examination will help 
the doctor to find the cause of redness you know and there he will learn the tests you know which may include like the skin sample or biopsy you know from the affected area maybe allergy testing to determine if you are allergic to certain uh, irritants you know and uh, if you have any question ask your health uh, doctor or healthcare provider you know uh, like uh, if your skin condition may be contagious or about uh, uh, the steps you can take to prevent it spread to other family members you know and uh, once diagnosed then uh, you need to uh, address the underlying condition you know and the treatments uh, depend on what's causing it and the example so uh, can include like avoiding the irritants uh, allergens that cause your skin redness in the first place you know and the other treatment options may include like uh, cleansing the affected area with the soap and water and uh, medications like antihistamines to minimize the irritation you know and the topical skin uh, applications like uh, calamine lotion to reduce the skin redness you know and keeping the affected area clean and dry can usually help to reduce the redness you know and if an infection is the cause uh, you need uh, the antibiotics to treat that infection you know Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Thank you and goodbye.